One of the things that we constantly need to remind ourselves is that Twitter is not real life. Okay. We all have to get that into our heads. So when we go on Twitter and we see a hundred people bashing Bernie Sanders, or we see a hundred people bashing Kamala Harris or Elizabeth Warren, or even Beto O'Rourke, we have to understand that that's literally just a hundred people. That is a small fraction of a decimal point percentage of the American public. You know, it's statistically insignificant. And here's why I bring that up because obviously Bernie Sanders announced this week that's created a little bit of divide against the never Bernie crowd and the always Bernie crowd and pretty much everybody in between as well. But a new report actually came out this week, uh, from Politico researchers have actually found that there is a coordinated effort. They don't know who's behind it yet. They're still looking into this, but there is a coordinated effort to divide the left right now. And it's being done essentially by an army of online trolls who are like their, their, their purpose is to sow division. They're out there spreading propaganda and memes and misinformation about people like Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders. Those are the top three people that this little cabal is spreading misinformation about, and they're doing it in order to divide the left right? They saw what happened in 2016, where we did have, at least on paper, or at least on Twitter, have a very divided left, except for the fact that 88% of Bernie supporters ended up coming and voting for Hillary Clinton. So it really was not as divided as Twitter made it seem. It hasn't been as divided as it looks on Twitter, but these bots or trolls or whatever they are, wherever they're coming from. Again, the researchers haven't been able to pinpoint that yet. This is a coordinated attack and they're trying to divide us. That's why I'm telling you that Twitter is not real life. You can occasionally have an intelligent discussion or an intelligent debate, but, but that's very rare. That doesn't typically happen. It's one person yelling at another because they disagree on 1% out of 100% of things. Honestly, that's what a lot of the fighting on the left is about. We agree on 99% of everything, but that 1%, holy hell, that is going to make people lose their damn minds. But Twitter is not real life. We're going to see a lot of misinformation coming out during this campaign cycle. It's going to be about Kamala. It's going to be about Bernie. It's going to be about Elizabeth Warren. It's going to be about Tulsi Gabbard. It's going to be about Beto O'Rourke, even if he doesn't choose to run. It's going to be about every single one of them. It is our job to ignore the BS, the nonsense, the trolls, and focus on policy and have real debates, regardless of who you support. We can do this intelligently or we can let a couple of trolls from 4chan and 8chan bait us into dividing the left and handing the 2020 presidential election over to Donald Trump. Don't do that. Don't fall into that trap. If you see somebody on Twitter trying to start crap, mute them. Don't give them the pleasure of blocking them. Just mute them. That's what I do. It makes Twitter so much more pleasant. And that's all you have to do. Or better suggestion, get off Twitter for a while. Go out there, do some research and arm yourself with the facts. You can find some facts on Twitter, but you're not going to get a ton of them, but it's up to us. We know this coordinated campaign is happening and this is, you know, we're, we're just one and a half months or so from when people started announcing they were running. So it's only going to get worse. The only way we can fight back is to arm ourselves with the truth and not get baited into nonsensical arguments based on misinformation. But again, that is 100% on us to do that. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.